Well, this Valentine's Day, we are continuing our love stories of the Capital Region series. Uh, the romance began in the 50s when George was in the Air Force and Beverly was only a high school senior. News 10's Cassie Hudson introduces us to the Westacotts this morning. Hello, I'm Beverly. Most people call me Bev. I'm George and people call me George most of the time. And this, this is, is our, our love, love story. story. She's outgoing, she's giving, she's attractive. He's just wonderful. I can't think of anything that I would want different. I like to look at her face. She's got a nice body. <laughs> no, she is a sexy gal. She's still rather sexy. We've been married 65 years. Yeah, we met, uh, Bev was still in high school and I was Senior. over at Sampson Air Force Base in training. My sister Donna said, you've got to meet my boyfriend's older brother. When they turned 18 at the time, there was a draft. So he came home from the Air Force and that's how I met him. She worked in a five and 10 cent store next to my family's Western Auto Store. I probably bought three or four ugly sweaters before I got a date. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much a long distance courting. Oh, he wrote me all the time. Second letter, June 18, 1958. My love for you is deeper and better than ever before. I am so happy that you want me to be your husband for all time, honey. Your offer to iron my clothing is nice, honey but really it's a long walk from my back door to yours. Someday we'll put these back doors under one name. What a pleasing thought. With love for you that I can't explain, I close this and remain your own for every coming day. Happy future hubby, George. When I would get a letter from him, I was just thrilled and I knew how lucky I was. I couldn't you. have a better husband in the whole world. I love you for all your generosity and always being there. We joke. I said, I want, if we can both pass away in each other's arms. <laughs> uh, so, he's the best. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful story. If you would like to learn more about these two lovebirds and hear other stories of love in the Capital Region, you can head to our website at news10.com. Doesn't matter the age, they're nope. keeping love alive. That's right. Love it.